Hi, I'm Colin, and today we're going to talk about how to prep and lay a gravel base for your hardscape. We just want to make sure that our area is properly marked out. Um, so you always want to use white marking paint, uh, and because between the time of marking this area on, and excavating, you want to make sure you get a locate. Uh, that way you just make sure there's no utilities below your excavation area. Um, one good thing too is once you have an area established, at least for paving stones, you want to make sure you mark out an additional six inches around that edge. That way you have proper base and excavation past the edge of your paving stones. We need to establish some square lines to work off of, especially since we're working off of a structure. Uh, so we're going to set one string lengthwise, um, get it as close as we can to the structure without touching it. That makes that means that we're straight. Uh, then we're going to run run line in the front, uh, crossing that line perpendicular, and we're going to adjust it to square using the 345 method. If you don't know how to do that, we have a video on how to make a perfect square. So we've ran our first uh, straight line. The idea here was to put the line as close to this structure as we could without touching it. Uh, there's a slight bow in the middle, but it's close enough to where it's going to look great. Uh, we've actually set it pretty close to where we want our finished grade to be. Uh, your finished grade can be basically whatever you want. You kind of want to go with something that's existing, like a step. Uh, we're going with the bottom of this structure. Um, if we've got it close now, all we have to do is put a string line level on it. And then we can adjust this to perfectly level. Uh, you kind of want to do this before you make your square line. That way, when you adjust them level after they're square, they don't push on each other. Um, so it's just a little bit more efficiency there. So in order to ensure that water drains away from our structure and we avoid damages, we put one inch of slope on this end of our project away from the structure. And we put about five eighths inches of slope away from the front of the structure. If you need any more information on how much slope you need to use in grading, we have a tutorial on our website called How to Set Grade. Uh, once those string lines have been established, then you can excavate. You can do this with equipment. Uh, one thing is though, is you're bound to over dig with equipment and that's okay. You just want to make sure that you put gravel back in that area, never backfill with dirt. Um, also just make sure you use those string lines as reference throughout that digging out process. You're going to dig them about seven inches uh, throughout your project as consistent as you possibly can. So while we were excavating, we found some pieces of uh, branches and debris and when we pulled those out and made it a deep a low spot in our excavation. So one misconception would be that someone would want to fill this with dirt. That's not what you want to do. Structurally, you want to fill these holes with some gravel, hand tamp them before you put your DO textile over them. So the next step is to bring in our geotextile. Uh, it's just a good fabric that helps keep uh, dirt from migrating up into your gravel and also will bridge any low spots in settling over time. So we've laid all of our geo out and now we can start bringing in our three quarter minus gravel. We're gonna be bringing this up in two inch lifts that way uh, we can achieve the proper amount of compaction with the size of compactor we're using. And we're trying to achieve four inches total of gravel, so we'll have to do about two two-inch lifts and then adjust from there. So after we've gotten our gravel as close as we can using the string lines as a reference, we're gonna go ahead and pull up all those string lines except for the ones that we use for square because those will also be beneficial for when we lay the stones. We're gonna take a flat board, or in this case a screed board, uh, and rake up the gravel one final time to help bridge any minor humps and bumps in our gravel to make it as flat and consistent as possible. So for this project, we set string lines uh, according to where we wanted our grade and slope. 
We excavated below those string lines. We made sure all loose dirt was gone. We brought in a piece of geotextile to help make a barrier uh, in between our dirt and gravel. Uh, then we brought in our gravel and compacted it in two inch lifts to have optimum compaction. And then now we have a nice, perfect, consistent base for hardscape.